Hey, it's Jason Glover with Dads That Cook. We're hanging out, making a new episode with Michael Chang. I've heard this is an amazing meal that he's making, and I can't wait because I've never had any of it, and I'm stoked. What are you making? What's All going right. on? Well, we're gonna start with a tomato soup. We're gonna do an Israeli salad. My mom's famous roast duck. Ooh. With uh, Yorkshire pudding and gravy. And then we're gonna finish with uh, mochi cake for dessert. Hope you're hungry. You know, I, I'm not really hungry at all. Okay, well, yeah. all right. Thanks for having us, Mike. <laughs> this sounds so good. I mean, you've got a lot going on here. And you make this every week, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, of course. What are you gonna start with first? Looks so, like we got something yeah, over here. Yeah, we're gonna start right here. Uh, we're gonna start with the mochi cake. So that makes sense. So you're gonna have your cake done. So how do we make this thing, Michael? What's the story? So, uh, Tell everybody and yeah. show them. All right. <laughs> Come on, so get it going. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what I forgot? Got your chef jacket. You got your little oven mitt. And then inside, you got the dad's that cook. Knife. Enjoy it, have fun. And Thank don't you. stick it in the dishwasher, I'll have Thank to kill you. you. All right. Awesome, look at you, man. You look like a pro. So we're making the mochi cake, right? Yes. So uh, I've already got my one and three quarter cups of sugar. One and three quarter cups of sugar. And a mochi flour. Okay. Two tablespoons of baking powder. Five eggs. Five little eggs. Whisk that. We're gonna add one tablespoon each. Coconut extract. And the and vanilla. The pure vanilla extract. The nice thing about this recipe is it's yeah. very forgiving. Is it? You know, a little more sugar, a little bit more flour. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna keep going with the half coconut milk, half regular milk. All right, slap a little butter in there. All right, so the oven's at 350. Yeah, Ready? now you're just gonna blend up some of this stuff here. You know, I don't bake a lot. Do you bake a lot? I, I don't, no, but the kids like this. The kids yeah. like this. So now we're gonna mix the dry into the wet and do basically like a third at a time. So you mentioned you have kids. How many yeah. do you have, Mike? Uh, 15. 15 kids, yeah. wow, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, three, three boys. Three yeah. boys. Three boys and now a dog. And now a dog. So how old are your kids? 14, uh, freshman in high school, uh, uh, 11 and nine. 11 and nine. Yeah. Let's that's see how his pouring good. skills are. Wow, look at that, you're good. How's that? Let me open that up for you. All right. What's up next? We are gonna do the Israeli salad. Okay. Which um, was a lot of chopping this morning. Yes, yeah. I saw that. It's about seven hours of chopping. Seven, at yeah. least seven. <laughs> you know, you could have just went to the store and bought everything chopped already. That's true, they, they do that. And so you got this sumac? It just calls for it? it. Careful, you sh actually should not put it into a hand without a glove. Really? Yeah, no. Is it spicy? Uh, actually, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta wash it. Ah, my hand! <laughs> What's nice about this is you pretty much just throw it all together. So bell peppers, shallots. And so you're not a professional chef. I'm not, a, no, I just play one on TV. You just show. play one on Your TV? <laughs> what, do you, uh, what do you do? I manage a business uh, called Yes Video. Yes Video. Yep, and mm -hmm. we convert all sorts of old media. Oh! So yeah. I've thought about this a lot. We all have those eight millimeter film things our dad shot at one point. Right. We've got boxes of them. Right. So you so, take your box and you just throw you, it into you the throw cloud. It up and it's done. <laughs> and it comes back down. So it's it's not quite that easy, but right. um, the neat thing in this in this day and age is once it's in the cloud, it's huh. basically taken care of. It's, for you. it's yeah. saved. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, well I'm bringing I'm gonna go get my box of stuff, and I'll say Michael sent me. Right? I won't say I'm, that. I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. That's okay, Michael. <laughs> no one listens to me. I, I was focused. All right, now we're squeezing some lemons, huh? Don't hurt yourself. All right, so three lemons. This is gonna be fresh and tasty. I like the mint in it and the sumac. Cilantro. A little cilantro. And parsley. And, parsley. Uh, and then serrano, it's actually pretty spicy, yeah. so I'm gonna just do half. You're gonna do a little. I like this, this is easy to make. It is. That looks good, I like it. So again, a lot of chopping. A lot of chopping. That's done. Right. What's next? I have no idea. Great! Yeah, this is a great knife, Jason. Thank you. Good, I'm glad you like it. Let's make some soup, <laughs> Michael! So why uh, why not just make a can of soup? Make a can of soup? Well, yeah, you just open it up. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> very difficult. I think the benefit of making it yourself is just, you know, it's, it's just healthier. It's healthier, you yeah. know what's going in it, I right? I can control the amount of salt. And you can put as much MSG in it as you want. Oh yeah. You know? I mean, that's just so great. Layer it on. <laughs> How much more do you guys like? All right, so we're gonna start with uh, half butter, half olive oil. Let that render down for a little bit. 
So what do you like to do for fun? I love cooking, spending time with the kids, rock climbing. Rock climbing, been, really? Yeah, I've been doing that since, uh, basically since high school. Are you gonna do El Capitan with a rope? No, no, that, that's no. not on the bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little more olive oil. Two, three ounces of that. And so why fry the tomato paste? That just adds another layer of flavor. So we're gonna mix that together. So now that the tomato paste is browned, and then add, I did half cherry tomatoes, half uh, red heirloom tomatoes. Oh, wow. But this is another case where whatever you have on what, it, whatever, it doesn't matter. whatever you can find. Once this kind of renders a little bit, you're gonna use an emulsifier, like a little hand blender deal, exactly. to get that going. And yep. you're making your own chicken stock right now. And it's in this pot. Oh, wow, look at that. So it's a whole chicken, ginger, a couple of pieces of pork. All right, how's this soup doing over here? So I think we're good. Basically, we're gonna let this simmer. I'll add a little chicken stock so it okay. doesn't dry out, so it simmers nicely. Uh-huh. And then we're gonna blend it and then add a little more chicken soup. What are we gonna make now, Michael? So we're gonna do a duck now. We're gonna do a duck. So what's happening with a duck, Michael? What are we doing with it? This is my mom's uh, special duck. So you don't really wanna share this recipe is what Actually, you're I'm not. I'm just gonna, <laughs> we're, we're just gonna. <laughs> we're not even gonna talk about yeah, it. Yeah, no. It's just gonna <laughs> come out of the oven. Okay, so how did you prep your duck? Last night I salted it. Okay. And then stuck it in the refrigerator overnight. Then I took it out, washed it, put it back in the oven hmm. so the skin dries. You put it back in the oven? Let's do that again. <laughs> back in the fridge. Great, so it's all prepped. It's all, you let it sit, it's hanging out in the fridge, you took right. it out, washed it. Look at this thing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take garlic. Okay. We're gonna rub it, give it a nice rub, okay. final massage. All right. And then stick some garlic uh, sort of all around and inside the cavity with some scallions. Okay, let's take a quick look at your mochi cake. Let's do it. Sort of a nice brown crust. Oh yeah, look at that. Ooh, that looks good, man. It smells amazing. I wanna eat that now. All right, so we're making Yorkshire pudding gravy. Yeah, some flour, flour. Into, into the butter, pretty much equal parts, mm -hmm. and let that brown. I don't know if I've actually ever had a Yorkshire pudding, ever. So I'm looking forward to trying this out, <laughs> right? Virgin <laughs> Yorkshire pudding. Here I am, serve it up. So we're halfway through the gravy, so I just added a little bit of moisture to that roux. All right, throw the mushrooms in here. So it looks pretty wet, but yeah. that'll, that'll reduce down. So gravy's on, and we're gonna do the Yorkshire pudding batter, which is just uh, equal parts eggs and milk, a little salt. We're gonna let that sit for 10 minutes. Okay. So that's gonna bore your viewers. Okay, bore them to death. <laughs> so I'm gonna just pour that When's that the Yorkshire four eggs. pudding done? I've been waiting. Just a little salt. Just a little just salt? A pinch, yeah. Just a pinch, that's all? Yep. Hmm. That's it. We'll put that in the uh, refrigerator. Okay. Okay, so some of the dads that I have on my, my audience, they were asking questions at one point too. We said, oh, we're gonna be making this Yorkshire pudding. And some other guy said, no, we call it where we are from, a popover. From our understanding now, the popover is basically like you're, you're, you're making your own individual, individual thing in a, in a muffin tin. And then the Yorkshire pudding is actually using the drippings mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the meat. Right and like making it all flavor. within the same pan. Makes sense, makes sense. You're using a different kind of dripping, which is right. the chicken, but yeah. you're still using that same flavoring. There was another thing that we found out too, is like if you're roasting meat on a spit, oh, right. just put the, the, the Yorkshire right underneath it. The pan, oh, to absorb everything. To absorb oh, it. Oh man, that sounds good. Let's do that next <laughs> time. <laughs> all right, let's do that next time, Michael, let's do it. The batter's coming along. It's been sitting for about almost 10 minutes. Whip that up a little. We're gonna do equal parts flour, which is one cup. Okay. Now that we've known all about the Yorkshire pudding and the popover scenario, we're doing like kind of a combo with yours, is what it feels like. Yeah. It's you, like a popovery kind of Yorkshire you've pudding. Got the lard, which is uh, super healthy. Yeah. It's a little bit of that meaty flavor. Yeah. So we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes. Okay. We got, <laughs> we got our duck. It's hanging out. Looks like it's relaxing. And you put it on That's top good. of a bed of something. Scallions. Scallions. Just so a you leftover. Put it, I, I, Pushed a bunch uh, in with garlic. Uh huh. The oven's the oven. at your temperature now. You're yep. happy so with we're, it. We're gonna do it high. Uh, five hundred. Huh? Five hundred. Anywhere between seven to ten minutes, and then we'll lower it, uh, bring it down to uh, three hundred. So when does the beer go on it? Uh, right now. The beer goes on it yeah. right now, Perfect and it goes timing. on and in and Perfect everywhere timing. around it. Yep. Just don't drink out of the bottle now. You wanna try? It actually burns off pretty fast, mm. you know, at, at 500. Here, I'll open this so you can do it quick. Ready? Get the heat. That's nice. All right, duck in. Gravy's still working its angle. Starting to thicken up a little bit. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Soup's coming along nice. 
kind of any time now we could we could blend it. We could blend so. it whenever. I can smell the beer like probably some about some of the alcohol yeah. evaporating uh -huh. off. Another three minutes on Mr. Duck or Mrs. Duck. But we didn't ask. Male, female or female. So your temperature was at 500 and now we're, we did the seven minutes yeah, or so? Yeah, seven minutes and uh, we're down to 300. Now I turned it down to 300. So that'll sort of bring the temperature even between uh -huh. the breasts and the dark meat. Mm -hmm. And then we'll measure, we'll go for 140. Okay. And uh, see where we're at in maybe about an hour. All right, let's give this a taste. Give it a taste, Michael. Gravy. It's the gravy. Oh, that's good. Is it good? Oh yeah, crank it, crank it. So I'll take this off to heat for now. Cheers, man. <laughs> Cheers. Right. Cheers. That has been fun. Like I said, I like free food. I like cooking. Mm. Free food, so it's perfect. Mm. Match made in heaven. Awesome, we gotta hang out more <laughs> often, we man. We should, we should. Look what Dad's been working. That's Nai Nai's famous duck. Oh, I'm Jason, how are you? What's your name? Connor. Connor, nice to meet you, bud. Everybody wants to know, do you like your dad's cooking? Yeah. You do? Yeah? <laughs> you sure? We're shooting for 140 in the thigh. I think we're pretty close. Why don't we yeah. take it out and let it rest? I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. Oh yeah, that looks good. Look at that. Yorkshire pudding time. We've got um, a vintage cast iron. That is really cool. Pan. It's got a bacon so fat jar. Pan. Okay, so you can slap a little bit in there. Let that heat up a little while. Yeah, just, just a minute. How's your improv skills? <laughs> <laughs> Is it smoking yet? Getting really hot. So your objective was to get it really hot and smoky kind of feel, right? That's right. That's what he said. Okay, it's hot. It's smoky, and you can smell the bacon coming up. So this is the Yorkshire pudding batter. You took it out of the fridge, right? Because it sat for like 30 minutes right. in the fridge. Let, let it warm up. And then you let it hang out right. here. Room temperature. Room oh, temperature. You can see it's uh, sizzling already. It is sizzling. It'll puff up in less than five minutes, and okay. then you want to let it set. Probably leave it in for you know up to 15 minutes. Oh yeah, there you go. Check it out. All right, so the soup is blended. Put it back on the stove, and we can simmer that, and we'll get, get it to the right consistency. We're just gonna finish it with a little bit of uh, heavy cream or whipping cream. Oh, that just looks adds, good. Adds a little bit of richness to it. All right, that Oh, is, that looks good. That is no. perfect. Let's have some soup, come on in. You guys hungry? Yeah. Ooh, okay. it's hot. Are you gonna go sit down? Okay, all right, we'll see ya. That looks hot. There you go, honey. Blow on it. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's pretty good. That's, that's all I need. That's that's it. That's you know, the only compliment I need. I need to try a little. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna throw a little extra on there. Yeah. I like basil. Tell me what you think. This looks good, buddy. That's tasty. Damn, that's good. That's. I'm serious. This is oh, so glad, good. Glad you like it. I don't make tomato soup, but I will definitely make this more. Right. So there you have it. Tomato soup. All right, we got the soup. That was delicious. Oh, I'm glad. The Yorkshire's pudding is... It's ready. Oh, look at that. Oh, and, that's awesome. We got popovers. That's gonna be delicious. We're gonna uh, just finish the uh, duck for five minutes. So that looks okay. super hot. We're gonna throw almost that like, back in. like a broil. Okay. Just to crisp the skin a little bit, because it's been okay. resting. What you want. Let's check it out. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. We'll let that sit. I'm gonna let it hang out. Just a couple minutes, because if I touched it now, I would yeah. regret it in the morning. The duck is ready, we pulled it out. Let's move it to the chopping uh, block. Move it on over to the chopping block. It's, it's hot, it's hot. You've done this before. A couple times. A couple times. Ooh, nice. You outdid yourself, man. So, it, because it rested earlier, uh -huh. you know, usually you don't want to take a meat out of the oven and then right. you start cutting into it. So that finish really did heat it up, but mm -hmm. um, you know, I think a lot of the juices will still stay in there. It looks juicy. So yeah, let's, we're ready to plate. We're ready to put some stuff Yorkshire on the plate. Yorkshire pudding, salad, and uh, just pulled over the gravy. Right, well, he's plating me a plate, or somebody a plate. Somebody's gonna get a plate. And throw the gravy right in the center of that. Oh, look at that. Jason. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna try your Israeli salad first. Let's try that out, okay? Mmm, that's nice and fresh. That's amazing. Okay, let's move on over to duck. Mmm, the duck is perfect. It's so moist. It really is moist and soft. 
I love it. I think the salting it overnight really locks in that juiciness. I mean, you would know, you cook this thing all the time, right? <laughs> yeah, no, it helps, it helps a lot. After watching the process of how you made all of this, it wasn't super complicated, but this would wow anybody's friends, you know? If you were making this for your family or your friends, they would flip out and they'd go, oh my God, I can't believe you did this. <laughs> right. All right, so I think your family needs to eat too, don't yeah, you? Yeah, they are hungry. Look at this, perfectly cooked. Do you eat a lot of duck? Nope. No? Just as duck. <laughs> really, really good. And this Yorkshire pudding, or popover, right. is to die for. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for having us over. That was a lot of fun. This is Thank so you. great. Thanks, Alicia. Cheers, Connor. You the man. Cheers, kiddo. Wow! Michael. Let me tell you, man, you kicked butt today. Oh, thanks, man. So good, this meal was incredible. But now I've got some room left over for some mochi, mochi cake. cake. Now look at the fluffiness of that. Oh man, and it, look, it's fluffy, but it's dense. Oh God, look at that. Mmm, oh my God. It's crazy good, man. We're gonna have all this stuff up on the, on the website. All your recipes, even your mom's duck. I'm really sorry. No longer a secret. No longer a secret. <laughs> I'm happy. Family's happy. Thanks for having Thanks, me, Thanks, Jason. Man. I really uh, appreciate it. Chef Michael, everybody. So, get up there and make these recipes right away. And we'll see you next time on Dad's That Cook. Hey, thanks for watching. You like our videos? Well, then do me a favor and subscribe because then we can update you on what's going on. You'll also know when we're giving away really cool stuff, which happens all the time. So make sure you subscribe and we'll be in touch.